Question 19, 3x squared plus 11, minus in parentheses 2x squared plus 5. Okay? Again, 2x squared plus 5. You Like normally, you know, you look at that and I say, oh, well, I kind of need to use order of operations. But I mean, you know, can you add 2x squared plus 5? Well, the answer is, you know, no, because I mean, are, are they the same thing? Right? So, what we have are x squared terms. Here's 3x squared, here's 2x squared, and then we have numbers, okay? So, and these are, so we have different types of terms here, different types of things. And there's a subtraction on the outside of this parenthesis, right? And that means that I want to subtract the whole thing. I want to, not just a 2x squared, I want to subtract everything inside there. So if I subtract everything, I'm going to subtract the 2x squared and I'm going to subtract the 5, okay? You could also think, well, it's like having one bag of stuff. One bag. And I'm subtracting one of these groups, one of these bags. And now I've got a, you can put a 1 there, right? And you can use your distributive property and multiply negative 1 by everything inside the parentheses. So negative 1 times 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. Then write out the problem again and then add like terms, right? And again, we've got 3x squared minus 2x squared. What does that make? 3 positives, 2 negatives, 1x squared. Then we have 11 minus 5. What does that make? 6. So 1x squared plus 6 is the answer, or just x squared plus 6, right?